Now let us continue our uh, second part of the tutorial on price adjustment. See in the last tutorial uh, we have seen that uh, in the input sheets we have entered the all the relevant uh, data like VAT, overall overheads, some rates and also we have entered uh, dates for the bills that is the last check moment, the last dates of measurement for three bills. So now we will proceed. Next we will uh, click this next button shown here. So let's see what happens. So, so this table is generated. You can see here there are uh, list of uh, a set of specifications, corresponding units, rates and quantities for bills 1, 2, 3. Remember that we had indicated 3 bills in the input sheets. Uh, next comes, uh, if you notice that we have given some default rates in the rate column. Though actually these rates will be different of your estimates. These are provided to indicate the general uh, range within which you can uh, input the values. This is needed because uh, different uh, this is needed because the different users may have worked out rates for uh, specifications cons considering different value for units. For example, for uh, plastic specification, one may take one square meter and another may take ten square meters. So, hence the hence to avoid errors, all units are kept uniformly for one unit, and probable rates are indicated. Uh, hence, when you input the data for a specific uh, the rate for a specification, you have to reduce the rate for one unit. If an improbable rate is input, an error message is displayed. Now, let us enter some data here. For example, let us say uh, clearing and grabbing land, the rate is default rate is 3. However, I will take it is let us say 2.4 and the quantity that is recorded in the first bill will be let us say some 4000 square meters. And uh, if uh, certain specifications are not needed for our work, you simply delete the rates of that specification. Uh, let us say I am deleting this rate. Uh, similarly, cutting and removing of stumps, uh, I am deleting it. Or uh, now I have this, uh, let us say I have this specification in the work and I modify the rate, let us say it is uh, 90 and the total number of trees are or stumps are let us say some 400. Uh, similarly, let us say I do not uh, have I do not have these specifications dismantling specifications. I delete all these things. Say I have this uh, earthwork specifications uh, using side depth and core depth and now I will give the relevant values. For a side earth, let us say the rate is uh, 77 and in the first bill, let us say this is uh, 3000 cubic meters and it is recorded again uh, for the second bill, let us say it is 1000 cubic meters and for core depth, let us say the rate is uh, 186 and that is only recorded in the, let us say, in the that comes up for consideration only in bill 2. So, I will enter here 1200 cubic meters. So, what you can see here is, so for a given specification all the three bill quantities need not be filled up. So, wherever it is required that is uh, uh, applicable in our uh, bills, only those quantities will fill up here. Now, you can see I have given some rates and uh, uh, quantities for wet mix macadam that is uh, 4000 cubic meters and for BTI items uh, also of course all these items are appearing for the bill 3 
and the rates also I have changed from default values and similarly I have given some uh, quantity for CCU payment using wet mix. So like this we can keep on furnishing relevant information and of course I have to delete the rates that are not required that are not used what you can do it yourself and one more thing you can see is uh, for steel uh, the rate is uh, uh, you can't change it here because uh, the trade is already given by yourself uh, input sheets the same is displayed here and you cannot change it because it, it is you cannot select it as I said earlier only these uh, these colored boxes or input boxes where you have to enter data and it is uh, the rate is being sh shown only for information that's what you have entered here so having complete all these uh, uh, rates and quantities being filled up now you see a uh, top uh, there is a button calculate you press it the calculations will be generated let's see what happens so the calculations are generated based on the rates you have prov provided and the quantities you have provided bill wise also there is uh, another sheet is generated here that is price adjustment because all these calculations will be summarized in this price adjustment where the uh, net price adjustment available figure will be available also you can see if we scroll down the uh, sheet uh, now at the bottom of these calculations uh, there are some more calculations uh, uh, for example in the price adjustment calculations you require net amount that is uh, after deducting VAT component uh, and also seeing these values they are worked out here these are partly visible and after deducting you will arrive net amount similarly for each bill uh, for other values also worked out and these will be carried out uh, carried over to the this price adjustment sheet uh, shown here now let us go to this sheet so here the final calculations are uh, uh, visible see here the last data bits that were entered is shown here and it is automatically taking 28 days before that for working out the basic price indices at as on the date for uh, pol bitumen cement steel etc and also for bill wise based on the calculations the net value for bill one and the value of pol at 15 percent of that value and price index as on this date as, a, as on let's say this is a bill one date you have entered and this is 28 days before that date and on this date this is the price index and this is a percentage difference that is worked out for pol and according to the price adjustment for bill 1 for POL is worked out here. Uh, similarly for other components, bitumen, cement, uh, you see you can even scroll down here, steel etc. So the total value is here. This is price adjustment, price adjustment amount for bill 1. Similarly, these are the calculations for uh, bill 2 and for bill 3. You can also see if, uh, in some places when there is a, uh, it is a, percentage difference is uh, plus or minus 5% uh, uh, within the less in the, within that range the calculation will not be carried over however anyway here it is the amount itself is zero and the overall price adjustment figure calculating the sum of all these values is shown here okay thank you and uh, you can visit our website for downloading the utility. Thank you.